Welcome to the video series on monitoring your students' iPad activity. This video will cover how to delete and organize apps. Apps on an iPad can be deleted and organized much like files on a computer. Let's walk through this process. All right, we're going to talk about deleting and organizing apps. The first thing we're going to talk about is deleting apps. If you find an app that you want to delete, all you have to do is click and hold down on that app every icon will begin to wiggle. The ones that appear with a little X in the upper left hand corner are the ones that can be deleted. If I go ahead and click the X, it prompts me if I want to delete this app, and yes I do, so I'm going to click delete, and now it's gone. By pressing the home button on the iPad itself, the apps quit wiggling and they're no longer ready to be deleted. If I wanted to reinstall an app that I've previously deleted, all I have to do is go back to the App Store, click Purchased, and find the app in my list of purchased apps. When they have the cloud with the download symbol, they can be easily reinstalled on the device. So if I click the cloud with the download symbol, it prompts me to enter my password, which I will okay and you can see that it begins downloading and there it is back on my device now as far as school installed apps go it's always a good idea never to delete those we have approved a set of apps that should be on the device for a teacher to use in the classroom and it wastes classroom time to have to reinstall those apps. Now we're going to talk about organizing apps, but before that we need to say a little something about the screen layout. The Up here are the main pages of the iPad. You can see down here with these dots that I have one, two, three, four pages of apps on this device, and by swiping from right to left I can access those other pages, and I can also go backwards down here is the dock whenever whatever apps are in the dock stay visible no matter what page of apps I am on these are called folders this app is not in a folder these apps are in folders and you can tell because they have the gray box with lots of little icons inside of them the first thing we're going to talk about now about organizing apps is placing items in the dock. So just like when deleting apps, if you touch an app and hold it down, it will begin to wiggle. This also makes it have the ability to be moved. For example, I'm going to pull the App Store out of my dock and put it on my front screen. Now to put it into the dock, while it's wiggling, I just hold it and drag it down. It's that easy. The next thing I'm going to show you is creating a new folder. To create a new folder, all you do is grab an app that is wiggling and drag it on top of another app. It prompts you to rename it, but it will also generate a name that it thinks fitting for that group of apps. You can see down here that there are multiple pages within this folder. There's nothing on my second page in this folder but oftentimes there'll be lots of apps on multiple pages within a folder and that's how they're kind of hidden so make sure when you access a folder search through it to view any apps that may be hidden be sure to check out some of the other videos in our series on monitoring your students iPad activity including spotlight search restrictions monitoring Safari and viewing open apps